The Alabama Crimson Tide at football team forged with a foundation of iron. The Auburn Tigers, a team in turmoil, but with a fire to salvage its season. Fire and iron, the bedrock of a century-old rivalry between the most bitter of antagonists. Auburn going after it. Here's a good snap. It is blocked! It is blocked! It's good! It's good! Today, Alabama competes with a championship berth in the balance while Auburn plays for pride and redemption. Three hours of football, two teams, one state together. This is the 77th Iron Bowl. Alabama did win the toss and they did not defer. They elected to receive to open the game. First down 10 from the 25. Out of the gun, McCarron left side. Michael Williams, one of the nine seniors on this team. And they'll go quickly. See Cooper, Williams, Lacey, Norwood, and Christian Jones. This is Eddie Lacey. First down, Alabama. And it, in his mind, it's been third down conversions, both for and against, that has been the difference of how they need to get better at on both sides. Third and two here. Lacey got it. Second First down of this drive. And Lacey and Yeldon give him great expertise at that running back spot. Jones snaps it back. McCarron has to dance out to the right. Under pressure. Let's it go. Got him. What a Amari play. Cooper. What a play. 21 on the play gain. And then the penalty. And it's first down 10 of the 21. Yeldon remains in. McCarron high, but caught by Amari Cooper. He is the leading receiver for the Crimson Tide, the true freshman. Jonathan Mincy with a tackle, and Cooper now with 42 catches for the season. Third and medium. It's become the game in college football. Kenny Bell, top of the screen, wide to the left. Here comes a threatened blitz. They are not coming. McCarron into the end zone. Got a man momentarily. Snowwood. Incomplete. So was it, was Norwood being held on the play? That's what it looks like. First down goal, Jesse Williams, the nose guard, is the lead blocker on this play. That's Volkler in motion to the left side. Follow Williams, Lacey does, slips in untouched. Looked awfully easy. Stephen Clark is on to punt, one of the bright spots for Auburn this year. He's had only five of 61 punts this season return. And Auburn yielding less than a yard per return, in part because of Clark's expertise of knocking it high. Yeah, that one was shanked. Yeah. Low. Don't you know. <laughs> Third down four. Across the middle, got it. Christian Jones, number 22. First down five. Seven, nothing. Alabama scored in the opening drive. Play action. McCarron got him wide open. Amari Cooper. Auburn brings four. Underneath crossing pattern, Kenny Bell. First down, 10-yard line. Knocked out of bounds by Tisharvin Bell. But Alabama continues to roll. Second down, Kevin Norwood goes wide to the left. Kelly Johnson is the H-back. There's a good block from Yeldon. McCarron, he might get in. No, he will not. That brings on Jesse Williams, the nose guard, number 54. And Vogler, the second tight end, that's number 84. Yeldon, drive it. And scoring a touchdown. Well, you're right, Tim, but boy, do they need some help to get back in the picture after that uh, devastating loss in overtime to Stanford a week ago tonight. 
Trevon Reed, number one, goes in motion. Third down eight. Stunts. Wallace steps up, drills it deep, has a man open. And a first down at the 40-yard line, Emery Blake makes the catch. Well. Uzuma, the tight end, tight to the right. Wallace with time. Again, he's got a man open. Yep, yep. And again, it is Emery Blake, number 80. Forrest Hill. Number 64 is the long snapper. Another bad one. Wow. And he gets a little bit of a break. Yeah. Demetrius McNeil, number 12, was down there. Well, I'm thinking of Saban's conversation with us, though, about yes. the significance of this down and how... Uh, the two games against LSU and AM, they didn't execute as well on third down. Same play. Yeah, and they do here. And a first down for Alabama. McCarron fakes to the right, pulls up, now goes back to the right. And it is caught by Christian Jones, who breaks the tackle. Perfect five of five on third down so far. But they won't have to worry about that now. Here's Lacey. Gets by to Charvin Bell and is knocked out of bounds by Darren Bates. But a huge, huge gain of 33 yards for Eddie Lacey. And another first down. Premier offensive line in football. Best blocking tight end maybe in foot college football. McCarron. Into the end zone. Amari Cooper. Touchdown. Alabama. And when they run the ball, they can throw the ball off the run. Flag motion at the right tackle spot. Looks like Patrick Miller moved early. McCaleb, if the play were to stand, is out around the left side. But Second down and 8, 21-0. Alabama leading. Trying to get to the championship game against the Georgia Bulldogs. And the winner of that in all likelihood will be in the BCS championship game. Here is Mason going left. But the two games prior to that here, very closely contested. This one, not so much so far. Tipped, intercepted. Picked off by Robert Lester. Lester coming left. Now going right. And hit from behind by Greg Robinson. Deflected pass. Robert Lester, fourth interception of the season. I wish I had time to explain to you why you overthrow the post more than any other throw, but that's another day. Well, maybe not. <laughs> don't, don't let that leave your pocket. <laughs> T.J. Yeldon. From the seven-yard line, Auburn four down. That's Williams starting in motion. McCarron wide open. Kevin Norwood. And the score goes higher. Stephen Clark on to punt for the third time. Neither has been particularly effective on the first two. Christian Jones is back to uh, return the punt. Should he be able to do so? 0 oh for 3. Yeah. Jones moves up to the 35. Lacey. The Charvin Bell misses another tackle. And Lacey picks up probably 10, 12, 13 extra yards. I can't imagine what's going through their head as they watch this total destruction of their football team. Any play that Alabama's dialing up right now looks like a big play. Play action, McCarron. Puts it on the line, and Kevin Norwood picks it up. I believe he got a spot that will give them a first down. You know, Vern, in the last nine contests, when these two teams have been separated by a difference of five wins or losses, the average one-loss margin has been 27 points. It's 28 already. Mm. Lacey. 
Chris Davis almost missed another one. He did get him by the right ankle. And when you get a little bored about throwing the ball or doing something fancy, you just follow that offensive line, and uh, you can always turn to the offensive lineman, the power, and Lacey and Yeldon. Lacey again. Down to the nine-yard line. Corey Lemonier, proud member of this defensive unit. Young man whose parents are from Haiti. Slightly injured. And here comes Lacey again. And it's going to be first and goal at the three. And here comes Jesse Williams again, number 54. That's Berger, lined up tight to the right. Left side. Touchdown, Alabama. Lacey for the six. We're not only going to get to see the seniors today, we're going to get to meet a lot of freshmen for Alabama today, yeah. I have a feeling. Third down, six. That's Geno Smith, number 24, into the corner. Well play, Mason. Nice First call. down, yes. Nice call. Nice play, Mason. Very quick on that play. Be ready to keep that to as small a gain as possible. Exactly what he did. Under two to go. Second down, eight. Mason. Oh, it Lost it. it. Yes, he did. Picked up by Milner. Milner down the sideline, Emery Blake knocked him out of bounds. Nico Johnson, the senior linebacker, forced the fumble. And his, grand, his grandmother and his father are here today on senior day. Well, how did you get out of that? I don't know. I thought that was going to be a no gain or a loss on the play. They either block it well or they miss the tackles. McCarron across the middle, caught by Amari Cooper. Another missed tackle and another Alabama touchdown. will kick off to open the third quarter. It'll be Cade Foster as we get set. Ontario McCaleb is one of the deep men. 42-0. Alabama yet to punt in this game. Here's Foster. McCaleb at the goal line. And that's about it. And that's uh, pretty s symptomatic of what we've seen all day long. Now you're playing basically for your teammates. You know, you're not going to win the football game. You're just trying to say, listen, I owe it to you to give my best effort in this football game so that we can all look each other in the locker room and say, I tried my best. Stephen Clark on to punt. Forrest Hill snaps it back. And Clark finally got one high, not terribly deep, but it is not returned. Christian Jones was deep. You know, one of the things that, as we watch it, Alabama does have their, their, you know, regular players out on the field to start this uh, third quarter. Lacey. Mm. One thing about this conference is, if you're not pretty good or good, pick the adjective you want. You get pummeled, you know, I mean, it's, it changes real quick in this conference. That's a good point about Arkansas and the, the current state of Auburn. Here's Lacey trying to dance out of the tackle, but Jermaine Whitehead was able to hang on. Third and one, Lacey again. And Lacey for the first down has 120 yards before that carry. It's 
So how does a team like Auburn fall so fast? I mean, that, that's the question all the Auburn fans and maybe, you know, a lot of fans of college football want to know. Remember that national championship team came out of nowhere. Right. I mean, it was built around Cam and Nick Fairley. Remember that team, Nick Fairley and Cam turned pro. They lost 24 seniors off of that team. Even though they were reloading what was thought to be good recruiting classes, it was too much of a rebuild. And when Gene Chizik and Gus Malzahn kind of parted ways last year, Chizik, a defensive coach, kind of became less enamored with the spread. Since 2009, now keep in mind that Newton and Fairley were both first round draft picks, even though they came out early. Now here's Yeldon splitting wide to the right, and McCarron goes that way and centers for the shorter receivers, Kevin Norwood. Just to, to underline Gary's point, since 2009, and keep in mind Fairley and Newton were first-round picks, Alabama has had 11 first-round picks. Auburn has had 10 total picks. I will have a chance to present my case for staying on. They will tell me what their concerns are. Obviously, he's not helping his conversation with this game. Norwood, touchdown, Alabama. Now they're going to take a knee. Good. Well, that, that's going to mean a change of, isn't that going to change and Albert's going to have to come out or are they going to just run the clock off? He's 11 seconds, they should yeah. just run him off. Yeah. Meaningless. That's what Saban's arguing. I know. Uh, we're trying to let the clock run out. <laughs> So because of the uh, the knee taken on fourth down, the clock by rule stops and the change of possession happens. Here's the ultimate anti-climactic play. Unless he gets two yards. Unless he gets he he exactly. You know what? That's exactly what Auburn did. Got him a thousand yards. Trey Mason winds up with 83 yards and he goes over 1,000 for the year. Chiswick, Saban at midfield. Now let's take a look at the player of the game presented by Russell Athletic. A.J. McCarron, 15 of 21. Key stat there, four. Touchdown passes, two to Amari Cooper, two to Kevin Norwood, no interceptions. Forty-nine zip. All Alabama. They go to Atlanta to take on Georgia next Saturday at four o'clock. Second ranked against the third ranked. That ought to be some encounter in the Georgia Dome. For Gary Danielson and Tracy Wilson, Vern Lundquist saying so long from Tuscaloosa. The final score, 49 zip, the Jeep postgame show next after these messages and a word from your local station.